Hello, Randy K7AGE in the fourth video of Bob's Mixer. I'm just going to finish it off and we'll give it a little test and see how it plays. So this is where we left off with all the wiring. And what I'm going to do now is use my little label maker here, make some labels and put the top on it, put some feet on it and give it a try. And with my knobs being red, green, blue, yellow, I'm just going to label the input jacks in the back here, red, green, blue, yellow, and out. And I want to deal with one, two, three, four, and that'll be pretty simple to do. And I'm going to use this little brother labeler that I have. They're pretty handy to have. They're, they're not real expensive. And I'm going to just type in red for one of the um, labels, and you just press print. And it, uh, Rinse that out and you cut that. Now usually the challenge is getting the, the backing off the label here. So I'm going to print up um, red, green, blue and out and uh, be right back. Okay, so I printed out all the labels and I peeled off the, the backings. And I just have them stuck on the edge of the mixer here and have it in my vise just to hold this while I do this. So I'm just going to Take the labels, and I'm just going to put them on here vertically. There's not enough room, and I'll try and get them straight, and maybe centered, but hey, it'll be fine. Green, blue, yellow, and these are the outs. I'm going to put it over here. And the yellow is just a bit long, so I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and trim that off. Okay, in with the uh, metal box, I usually bought it was this little bag, and it has uh, some screws, get it open here, screws and some rubber feet. So, um, screws are to put the top on. Here's some rubber feet. I uh, can't see there, but they're, ooh, this is old. Let's see if they're going to work. So I'm going to turn it upside down. That just all cracked. Yeah. We get, oh, there it goes. It comes right off. And I'm just going to put these on. Say, I don't know, about a quarter inch in. And number four. Ah. Okay, I have the uh, four screws. Let's see if we can get this uh, cover. Ah. Screwed on here. And four. There we go. Feet are on, the top is screwed on. Okay, to, to try out the mixer, let's hook a couple signals in. I have this cable here. And this is from my K3 speaker output. So I'm going to plug that into the blue. And for here I have my iPhone. And I'm going to plug this in so we can hear a podcast. I'll plug that into the earphone jack. And plug that into the yellow. And the, here it is, the input to the speaker, which would be the output of the mixer. We'll plug into the output. Oh, we're starting to hear some things. Here's WWV. Let me turn this around. So that's plugged into the cable here. That's plugged into the blue. Zone, one hour, 54 minutes, coordinated universal time. So I can turn that up and down. Let's turn that down for a second. Bring up the ARL audio news. It's playing. Okay, so I can turn that up. This is ARL Audio News for Friday, December 12, 2014. This program is That's on the yellow. ARR, the National Association for Amateur Radio. You bring up and the WWV. Highlights compiled from the ARRL letter. There we are. Sitting in Here's the mixer. Go, and I'm just using two inputs. So it all works. I'm happy with it. Nice little accessory to the ham shack. And thank you for watching. It's Randy, K7AGE73.